Hello everyone, welcome to this episode on pickles with the Executive Gardener channel. My name is Jeff, your host. So we're going to talk in this episode about how do you build a pickle garden. So pickles, as most of you know, if you've watched my previous episodes on the Executive Gardener channel, I make my own dill pickles. You see, uh, with Brian, if you look at a previous episode, you'll see uh, the episode, but I do can them. I uh, make my own brine, I put a little bit of uh, garlic, certainly the, the appropriate spices that you need in here, a little bit of pepper for a little bit of heat, a little bit of onions, and unbelievable, man. This dill pickle that I make, um, excuse me, I promise you, you won't find it anywhere. Let me put this down for a second, but... Sorry, I could eat that whole damn jar. So I like dill pickles. Some people like bread and butter pickles. Some like sweet and sour pickles, whatever the case may be. Um, many people don't even know that uh, pickles come from cucumbers. So uh, pickles are certainly a certain variety of pickling cucumbers. And there's a lot of different pickling cucumbers out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it's really easy to make your own pickling garden. Uh, you have to be careful because if you get prolific pickle, uh, pickling cucumber plants, they can produce a ton of pickles um, or baby cucumbers. Now these pickling cucumbers get to be about four to six inches uh, uh, big and uh, uh, again they can be very prolific. So I'm going to show you what I do, give you some advice and then it takes, uh, you know, whether you have a seedling or you go from seed. I grow mine from seed, but if you have a seedling, you could within two or three months have a ton of pickles and you can make your own sweet and sour bread and butter or dill pickles. So let me show you my setup. I'll give you some hints about what you can do uh, to grow uh, your own cucumber garden. So I'm going to show you what uh, I do to start my pickle garden. So I hope you can pick up some hints or you can do it your own way, but either way, I hope uh, there's a few tips that you can pick up from what I do. So here's where I'm growing my pickle garden this year. Last year, um, I grew it in uh, soil in the ground, and it was very successful. I had a lot of cucumbers, pickling cucumbers. I tend to stay away from the bigger cucumbers, and I really focus on pickling cucumbers because I do like to make pickles out of them. But uh, I have two, two um, container gardens. I'm going all container gardening, pickling gar gardens this year. So here's about a 25-gallon uh, um, container that's full of soil. I've got, uh, looks to be six plants in here. I'll probably weed one out. And I've got four plants, cucumber plants, in this 20-gallon container. So uh, to start with, uh, when you go to the seed store, look for pickling cucumber seeds. So pickling cucumber seeds. There's really two varieties, and if you read it, one's more of a vining pickling cucumber, like the Boston cucumber, which I think is what I have here. So this is a vining plant. So like other cucumber plants or other vining plants, uh, like tomato plants, uh, they're going to go all over the place. And to control them, there's a few things you can do. Number one, you could buy a cheap trellis like this, put this in here and allow the vines to grow up the trellis, uh, relatively affordable. Or you can simply use a tomato cage, stick this in here, allow the vines to, to grow over as well. Now, I'm not sure that I'm going to do either two of those because I think I'm going to get a lot of cucumbers, a lot of vines. So what I've done is i put this on top of cement. So it's all cement under here. It used to be a jacuzzi. It used to sit here. I got rid of it because we didn't use it much. And uh, the vines I'll allow to grow all over the concrete. So uh, for those that don't know, um, cucumber plants sometimes can get mildew if a lot of water and disease pretty quickly. So by keeping it out of contact with the soil and keeping it on the concrete, I'm hoping to prevent some of that. So that's what's going on here. These seedlings are about uh, two or three weeks old. And uh, as you know, I grow all my, uh, my cucumbers and tomatoes from my own seeds, but you can certainly get a jump and go to uh, a garden center and get your own. So this is a vining cucumber, pickling cucumber here. We'll get to four to six, eight inches. Uh, on this side, I have more of a bush cucumber. Uh, so it's a pickling cucumber, again, four to six inches, but instead of producing vines, this one's going to uh, produce a compact bush, and there'll be a bunch of pickles uh, on that. So uh, I look forward to that. I have four of them here. I don't expect this to vine, but it should get pretty bushy, and I may control it with either this or, or the small trellis. But uh, one of the things I want to talk about that's very important when you're growing cucumbers in containers like this is that cucumbers 
suck up a lot of nitrogen, okay, a ton of nitrogen. So what I did to prepare this is I filled each of these with good potting mix, but I also filled it with rich compost and manure, heavy in nitrogen. So uh, they're going to suck up a ton of nitrogen and they're going to deplete it pretty quickly. So what you need to do is you need to get a liquid fertilizer or a uh, natural organic fertilizer to put in here uh, after a few weeks to replenish the nitrogen. Otherwise, you're going to get pointy cucumbers instead of the rounded cucumbers. When they become pointy at four to six inches, it usually means there's a nitrogen deficiency. So uh, again, make sure you uh, put lots of nitrogen. You can even get a 2100 uh, type of uh, fertilizer, but make sure you keep it there. The other thing about pickling cucumbers or regular cucumbers is they're very drought intolerant. So they like a lot of, they, they suck up a lot of water, they like a lot of moisture. If you go away for a day or two and these things are dry, they will die completely. So they're not too tolerant to not being watered. So uh, you need to have lots of water. One of the interesting things about pickles is that the pickle itself contains virtually very little nutrients at all. Most of the nutrients is in the skin. And some of us peel the skin off. So, but pickles make great side dishes and they certainly make a great sweet, sweet and sour bread and butter and dill pickles that we all love. So um, that's just something I've always found fascinating about pickles. The other thing you want to do with pickles is as these things grow, whether it's a vine or a bush plant, um, get them when they're about four to six inches. The reason why is that if they get too big over their size, the seeds become hard and actually the outside skin turns a little bit orange, so a little bit yellow and it doesn't taste as great quite frankly. So uh, you want to get them when they're a little bit immature. That's the best time to eat the, the pickling cucumbers. So this is what I'm doing. These are my two uh, container. Between these two, I'll probably have 10 cucumber plants that'll produce 100 to 150 cucumbers this year, which I'll slice and dice and make bread and butter pickles, dill pickles uh, for my entire family. And then we'll also have plenty for salads. You can put pickling cucumbers in the salad as well. Now, I'm growing this under a big pergola. And you can't see it, but there's, um, there's uh, uh, ties that go across here. What I may do is trellis rope up vertically and allow my vines to grow up vertically. Uh, the la uh, one other thing I wanted to say about pickling cucumbers is that there are female and male flowers, just like regular cucumber plants. Most of the butterflies, the bees, and the insects will cross-pollinate the, the male with the female. But it wouldn't hurt you to take a little paintbrush, dab it in, get some of the pollen, from the male flower, put it into the female flower, and you may uh, uh, boost the production you have of cucumber plants. And when you're, when you're doing your initial cucumbers, if you get a good potting mix and you get nutrients, you may also want to supplement with a little phosphorus to make sure that you get plenty of flowers that will produce cucumbers up front. But once the flowers start producing, it's really going to suck nitrogen, like I said. So make sure every few weeks you replenish the nitrogen in your soil and you won't be disappointed. So that's it. This is my pickle garden. This is so easy for you to do whether you live in an apartment or a condo or a house. Get two large containers, a little bit of soil, start your pickling cucumbers in the soil, and there you go. Uh, I also wanted to say that cucumbers in general, um, they do like heat. So they probably will not do well if the heat's below 65 and 70 degrees. Uh, they do like it to be 80 to 90 degrees, probably 70 is okay as well, but anything below 60, your cucumbers won't do as well. In addition, they like full sun. Seven to eight hours of sun a day are required. If you give them that, they will produce for you very well. They won't do well in the shade or four or five hours of sun. Seven to eight to nine hours of sun a day, that's what mine will get here. So this is the area. This is my pickle garden. I hope you've enjoyed this episode from the Executive Gardener channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'd love to have you a part of the community. Also, if you have questions, send me a comment. I'll respond to it as soon as possible. I get a ton of comments and I try to help people out where I can. I don't know everything, but I'll kind of give you the knowledge I do have. If you have a friend that's looking to get into backyard gardening and producing their own organic food, send them my link, tell them to subscribe. I appreciate you tuning in to this episode of the Executive Gardener. Have a good one.